finally moving. So the, it seems that the high pressure system has passed over us and we have puffs of wind. The great thing about this is that since we have had zero wind, the seas are just totally flat. So it takes no effort to move through them. So it's kind of a, that's a positive. For now, it's like perfect. As I've mentioned before, trash has been a very disturbing part of our trip. We just see a lot of it and we try to get it. Uh, we have not been successful yet, but this one looks really big. So we're gonna put in a pretty concerted effort. Here it is, it's covered in barnacles and it's got lots of fish going around it. Whoa, there's a crab on it. Do you see it? Another failed attempt. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Today is July 24th and the westerly winds are finally here. Great news, we are moving again. We went 40 miles last night. It is time to take down Dill and put up Josh, our jib. So we're gonna do that this morning. First thing, because Dill is a very um, fragile sail. Seems we went to, from one extreme to the other. We've got a storm coming right at us, so we had to drop our jib, and we're just flying our storm sail, our uh, trysail, and um, stand right now. Stand is our staysail. So we're preparing for a whole lot of wind and a whole lot of rain coming in a, just a couple minutes. It passed. The seas are really big right now though. So we're gonna keep the sail plan that we have for the time being because we don't want to go up to the bow. It's super rough outside and that makes cooking a big pain. So we have these Alpine air packaged foods and they are from uh, Herbie's sister and brother-in-law. And we're really grateful for them right about now because all you have to do is boil two cups of water and pour it in, seal it and wait for 10 to 15 minutes and you're good. You've got a fully realized cooked meal. And in this case, it's Southwestern style masa or mesa with beef. Just the act of heating water in these kind of conditions is actually really treacherous because if you're just boiling it in a pot, the pot could spill and burn you. So we're just using the tea kettle because it keeps everything nice and closed up. And we just have two cups of water in there. As soon as it's boiling, Put it in there, there's no spilling, no risk. Gourmet storm cooking. 
Maybe three. Mmm, slop. Well, the wind comes and then the wind goes. So, yesterday we had at moments in excess of 30 knots of wind, but most of the time it was a little over 20. Now we have 10. So, we've both eaten breakfast. Uh, it's Maddie's morning watch. I just finished my watch, so I was able to rest for a little bit as well. And we're both feeling a little more energetic, so we're going to get Josh up. So we're going to keep the other sails of Stan, our stay sail, and our tri -sole, those set. And we're just going to add our head sail, which is a jib, just to give us a little more drive in these light airs. And then as soon as the wind picks up this afternoon, all we have to do is drop the jib and we're back to our regular storm sail plan, which we're very glad we were flying our storm sails last night because, oh my, it, it got really windy out here. Yes, we did. Where? Uh, about a wave away. Okay. Let's see if these surfaces. It's definitely with us. Yeah. Would you like to say anything about these sunsets? The sunsets are the best part. It's all worth it because of the sunsets. Although those whales, those whales today, that was pretty awesome. Hmm. If I painted that sunset, people would say it looked fake. That's the best kind of sunset. And speaking of whales, we got to see them in the most natural of their natural habitats because we are as far from any whale watching cruise that you could ever get. <laughs> <laughs> we are currently 1,570 miles from the Chesapeake Bay and 1,530 nautical miles from Portugal, which means we're in the middle. So those were the whales out in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> Yep, yep, they're gonna be bow riding us. They've come into position. They're bow riding! Oh, oh. Yeah. So mad. 
many of them. Hello, friends. Actually going fast enough for them to bow ride. <laughs> so cool. It is. It is really cool. Maybe they were going to meet some friends and have them come back. So today was a really good day of sailing. We averaged 5.4 knots and it wasn't uncomfortable. We had the waves somewhat behind us, so everything wasn't rocking all around. It was just a nice, graceful glide through the water and we haven't had very many days like that in a long time. So I'm really happy about how today went. If we can keep this up, then we could be there in five days, which would be incredible. 
but you never know. You never know if the winds are going to change. You never know what's going to happen. So all I can do is be thankful for today. I just boiled water in the tea kettle and then took a shower with our insecticide sprayer shower. It was heaven. So that is a perfect example of why it's so important to always be clipped in. I made a special breakfast this morning. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to tighten the packing gland on our rudder post. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and message us directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.